tell me when you're ready. Good? Okay. Okay. Uh, I'd like to call the town board meeting of December 7, 2022 to order. Please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led by Florin and Rosalia today. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wait, 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 come back. Please remain standing for a moment of silence to remember those who served our country in the past and for those who continue to protect our country today. We also would like to remember all the Americans who lost their lives on December 7, 1941, Pearl Harbor Day. Thank you very much. I appreciate you helping us today. Okay. Please note the emergency exit are the door you came in and there is a door down at the end of the hallway. At this time we would welcome public comments on the agenda items right after I flip through them. Okay. Resolution number one is our town board minutes. Resolution number two is our housekeeping of our monthly uh, budget revisions. This one for November of 2022. Resolution number three is we're accepting a donation of file cabinets from Dutchess County, which is always very helpful for all of our paperwork. Uh, resolution number four, we're awarding the bid for the removal of scrap metal. Uh, number five is our inclement weather policy, and it's that time of year again. And number six is we're approving the fees for the dog park for the year 2023. They've gone up uh, $5 each. So members have gone from $45 to $50, non-residents from $95 to $100. The, we're going to set the, say, uh, the salary and wage schedule for the seasonal recreation staff for 2023. And then uh, resolution number eight is payment of claims. And let's see who has signed up for the public comments. And nobody for agenda items. Okay, you want to start? Whereas sure. Town Clerk Marina de Tontawano has provided copies of the minutes of the November 15th, 2022 Town Board meeting to all members of the Deakman Town Board, and whereas Town Board members have had the opportunity to review said minutes, now therefore be it resolved the Town Board hereby accepts the minutes of the November 15th, 2022 Town Board meeting. I will second that. Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Al Epstein, no. Councilman Ballini? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor mm -hmm. Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the Town of Beekman's Accounting Office recommends certain budget provisions based on department requests and or the Accounting Office review and analysis of expenditures or revenues. Now, therefore, being resolved that the following itemized revisions are approved by the Town of Beekman Town Board identified as budget revision number 2022-11 as follows. A second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor Gubucci? Aye. Accept donation of file cabinets from Dutchess County, whereas the building department has received two file cabinets from the Dutchess County storeroom and whereas the town board resolutions are required to accept all donations, now therefore be it resolved that the town board does hereby accept this donation and in doing so does express its gratitude to Dutchess County and be it further resolved that the donation of the, uh, the record of this donation will be forwarded to the town clerk for her record of donations. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Donnellini? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gucci? Aye. 
Whereas authorization was given for the town clerk to advertise for bids for removal of scrap metal for the highway garage, and whereas the bids for removal of scrap metal were received, opened, and read publicly on November 14, 2022, and have been reviewed by the highway superintendent and the town clerk. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the bid is hereby awarded to Veroni Recycling as recommended by the highway superintendent as attached here to, and be it further resolved that the supervisor be and hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to carry out said services. I'll second. Town board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Ballini? Aye. Councilman Mormon? Aye. And Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Be it resolved that the supervisor shall be the individual named to execute the inclement weather policy. In her absence, the deputy supervisor or town clerk are the designees to execute the policy. And that all of the following radio stations will be notified of delayed openings or early closings. The mall broadcasting, which includes WSPK 104.7, WHUD 100.7, WXPK 107.1, WBPM 92.9 and 96.5, WGHQ 92.5, WBNR 1260 AM, and the cumulus of the Hudson Valley stations. And be it further resolved that the notification of delayed openings or early closings can be accessed at www.cancellations.com and on the main page of the Town of Peeping website. I'll second that. Town Board Discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote for the Sunken Seagler. Aye. Councilman Ballini. Aye. Councilman Norman. Aye. Supervisor Gucci. Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the Recreation Department, along with the Town Board, set fees for the recreation programs, and whereas the Town Board is desirous of setting the fees for the Lower Park for the year 2023, now, therefore, be it resolved that the fees for 2023 will be as follows. Members, $50. Non-members, $100. I'll second. Town board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Whereas the town board is authorized to set salaries and wages, now therefore be it resolved that the following salaries be set to the seasonal recreation staff for the year 2023 as follows. Seasonal recreational staff, $14.20 to $21 per hour. I'll second. Town board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Bellini? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Gucci? Aye. Conclusion passes. Whereas the bookkeeper has audited and approved claims pursuant to section 119 of town law as set forth in the attached abstracts, be it resolved that payment therefore is hereby authorized as follows. Claims to be paid from the A general fund, $403,601.11. Claims to be paid from the DA highway fund, $118,898.49. Claims to be paid from the SW Dover Ridge Water, $25,850. Claims to be paid from the T Trust and Agency Fund, $24,328.49. Claims to be paid from the H Capital Fund, $21,395.69. For a total of $509,473.78. Bureau number 24 paid on 11-24-22. General Fund, $33,107.01. Highway Fund, $20,779.01. For a total of $53,886.02. Second. Town board discussion? The bulk of the uh, general fund is um, movements. Yes, capital, capital movements. The and major the one is the highway. Is the highway is two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars for the highway garage. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler. Hi. Councilman Bellini. I will abstain. I have not finished going over the bills yet. I will complete uh, by this Friday. Councilman Mormon? Aye. Uh, Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay, and that is it for our resolutions. Um, for the town board business, anybody have anything? No? Okay, I have a couple things. So the Recreation Department has light up Beekman, 
On December 11th, we're going to have our first annual Light Up Beekman Motorcade starting at Town Hall, heading down Route 55 to Beekman Road, ending at Recreation Park where Santa will meet the children with a small group. The motorcade line up at 5 p.m. at Town Hall. Decorate your vehicle to head to Rec Park. View lights on route. Um, then there's a contest starting December 11th. Residents will have the opportunity to view the business and homes listed and vote on their favorites. All votes must be submitted via the Google survey. Voting will close at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, December 18th. Awards will be announced on Monday, December 19th. So I encourage everyone to come and line up. I think that's going to be a nice event that um, our rec director has um, organized for the town. And then I had a couple of comments for um, Pearl Harbor Day. Uh, December 7, 1941, Pearl Harbor attack kills 2,403 Americans and launches the U.S. into World War II. That was 81 years ago. Imperial Japan launched a devastating Sunday morning surprise attack on the U.S. Navy and other military assets at Pearl Harbor, rousing a sleeping giant and thrusting an enraged America into World War II on this day in history. The savage rage raid by the aircraft carrier-borne warplanes sunk or damaged 21 U.S. warships, including the U.S. Arizona and the U.S. S. Oklahoma destroyed or damaged 347 aircraft, killed 2,403 Americans. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Franklin D. Roosevelt announced with determined indignation the following day while asking Congress for a declaration of war. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. That righteous might of the American people manifested itself in the most remarkable military, industrial, logistical, and spiritual mobilization in human history, leading to the liber liberation of hundreds of millions of people around the world. The attack on Pearl Harbor proved to be the greatest miscalculation in military history. The United States then led the effort to rebuild Japan and Germany, both nations, into major world economies with stable and democratic leadership. Fifteen sailors and one Marine earned the Medal of Honor for heroic actions that day alone. Among them were Rear Admiral Isaiah Kidd, who died commanding the defense from the bridge of the USS Arizona, the first U.S. flag officer killed in any war. Captain Mervyn Benin, who remained in command of the USS West Virginia, saving the ship despite mortal wounds, and Chief Botswain Edwin Hill, whose remarkable heroics freed the USS Nevada while under attack. These are dates in American history that need not be forgotten, and unfortunately today there was very little comment on um, local newscasts and the media, and that's a very unfortunate. I hope in the schools that they mark the day with the children because education is empowering, and this is the type of things that we need to expose our children to. It's important. With that, anybody else? Okay. So I just want to announce a few things and then we'll get to public comment. The next town board meeting, um, the next two, Tuesday, December 20th will be at 7 p.m. And the reorg meeting, uh, Tuesday, January 10th, 2023 will be at 7 p.m. And both of them will continue to be at the community center. Um, I'd also like to wish uh, Hanukkah starts December 18th at sundown, the Festival of the Lights. And we'd like to wish all our Jewish friends a happy Hanukkah. And now we will move to public comments. Our public comment time is um, a three minute limit and we will start with Christine. Kristen? It's Christian. Christian, I'm sorry, okay. Please. Is there any commissions? You know what, we or? don't have a mic because nope. we're over here, but why don't you come up and yeah. stand and sure. close to us. 
Okay, so um, first, good evening. Um, I just want to start by thanking you for your service. I think that um, what you're doing here with the town board is a really important thing that um, is foundational to the way our society works. And I, I think it's, it's a thankless job in a sense because there's uh, no fortune or fame or anything like that. So I, I thank you for, for what you're doing. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, we will give you back those those seconds because we okay. just stick to three minutes. <laughs> right, I'll talk, I'll talk so, faster. Okay. I'll give it back to you, the compliments. <laughs> uh, so I'm here with my wife, uh, Sarah, my uh, daughter who's there, my son, Brian. Um, so we're, we're at 310 Clock Hill Road. We're, it's a 20 acre lot where Clock Hill kind of wraps around. Uh, there's a kind of a big pond in the middle. Uh, bought the property about four years ago and built uh, about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, so I, I don't wanna come here and complain because I, I know you, you, you have a, a lot that you're dealing with, but I, I'll come and bring something to your attention. So, um, you know, there, there's a big hill behind the property and uh, it's like Millie Lane that goes up the hill. And, um, you know, so there's a lot of water when it rains that kind of comes down the hill right right now there are lots of drains on clock hill and those drains empty out into three culverts onto my property those culverts enter perpendicular to the road into my property so that's what i want to just bring to your attention so a couple of quick things um one goes into the pond i no issue right water comes in it goes into the pond could do that all day. The other two are a challenge. For the property, it's doing a couple of things. One thing is all that water is being collected and put into these two culverts. It's flooding the areas of my property when it rains where this water is coming in. So it rains, all that water from this big hill behind me is all coming into these two locations that are not the pond. And that's, so it's like, it's causing a lot of issues just with a massive amount of water. There's also erosion that's starting to happen where this water keeps coming into these certain areas and winding through my property because it's so concentrated and it's, it's starting to erode certain areas. Then the last thing is, and this I, I couldn't believe it because when we, we bought the property, we saw these culverts. One of them, there's so much sediment and gravel and stuff that's coming in from this one culvert that it, it closed itself off and it created a mound of dirt and debris about like 30 feet into my property, about two feet tall. I can stand on it and kind of look around, you know, so it's unbelievable massive amount of stuff that, that came in and it, it closed itself off. Um, I, I realized that obviously this is, you know, it would take time and you know, um, effort to figure out what could be done. So I'm, I'm not here uh, asking for anything to happen immediately or, or anything like that. Uh, and I'm happy to work with, with the board and, and to, to figure out what we, we can do. But I am asking for your help. Because, you know, it is, uh, it is affecting the value of my property. The one area where, where it built up this big pile would be an ideal area to put another home. And down the road, that's something that I was thinking about doing. So I, I think it's something we do have to address. I don't think it's fair and reasonable to, to us that we're just dumping all this stuff into right into the middle of, of the property. So I think if, if, you know, if we can figure it out. Um, my understanding of New York State drainage law is that you know any water that runs into my property naturally I have to deal with but if we're collecting water and we're putting it into my property at certain locations my understanding is I have a right to stop it the one stopped itself so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to ask that we leave it that way for now till we figure it out it doesn't make sense to try to remove gravel for that to build up again the other one my, you know, again, based on my understanding, I'm going to ask, I'm going to suggest that it may make sense for now for me to temporarily stop that one so it doesn't continue to dump stuff and erode till we figure it out. But again, 
you know, if the board has a different understanding, I'm, I'm open to hear what, what your understanding is and work with you to figure out what, what we need to do. But I, you know, I, so long term, obviously, we have to figure it out. In the short term, I want to try to start to mitigate a little bit. So in the short term, I will speak to the town engineer. He's okay. going to be in tomorrow. Great. And perhaps have him do a drive-by just, just to look at it. Great. And then also speak to um, the highway superintendent because he's, he's in charge of roads. Um, Millie, what did you say? So Millie Lane is kind of what goes up the hill. Uh, is that so a town road? No, no. But uh, it's so not a town road. This is Clap Hill. But uh, well, it's coming off, right. But it's Millie Lane road goes up the hill. That's no, no, oh, okay. it just goes up the hills, and it's a big hill, so I just mentioned that, so oh, you know. Okay. I thought that was affecting you also. It's, okay. it, it, it's that hill that Lily Lane goes up, that all that water is coming down. Okay, okay. I, I did, I do want to mention, I'm, I'm sure I'm over time, I apologize. I, I don't know if I can do a second public comment on a, a separate matter. I, I did call you uh, years ago when we first bought the property, you mentioned the highway supervisor. Uh, I had an interesting interaction with him. I left it alone because at that point uh, he didn't pursue it. But when we first had bought the property, we would enter the property to to kind of you know do the start the process of doing the engineering and all the the surveying and everything we had to do. Obviously, there was no driveway. And so did you build on this property? We did. There's, we, we, okay. we built a year and a half. So can, can I just interrupt you for a minute? I think we need to have a much longer conversation yes. about this. So uh, let me get your contact information sure. and I'll give you a call and sure. I can you know, Great. have a, a sit down yes. with you, the engineer, Appreciate the building department, Great. the highway department. Okay. Great. So we hold yes. on for one yes. minute and because this is a much Absolutely. Uh, no, bigger no, no. issue that takes a little bit more time. No, I wanted to mention that the, the highway supervisor at that time behaved outrageously with us. He, he called. Well, right, you know what? I, uh, that's why I'd like okay. to take it. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So, so let's uh, have a conversation okay. and, and figure out what we can. We that was unrelated to this, but anyway. Okay, so let, let's, okay. let's figure out Great. where we're going to go with this Thank and um, we'll have a conversation. So don't okay. go anywhere until no I end the meeting. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Great. Okay, Leonard, yep. come on up. My microphone. <laughs> if you want to use it as your microphone. <laughs> We're all well, for the benefit of everybody who might be watching on TV or for the benefit of you, of which I don't know your name, but maybe we'll get to know each other after the meeting. Uh, my name is Leonard Jerem. I live at 112 Fire Drive. Uh, at the end of the cul de sac, I love where I live. Well, I asked Mickey Rooney, but he was a carpet salesman. He was not the Mickey Rooney, but Mickey Rooney did live up here. Um, a couple of things. Um, I wasn't going to get up and speak, but I do want to know why we don't have reports from the Recreation Department or the Highway Department as to what's going on. Um, this gentleman has concerns, I'm sure. Um, the, the Recreation Department had a number of events, and I'm sure they either lost money, made money, had a good time, didn't have a good time. And it'd be nice to put that on the camera so that people will know what they missed, including myself. All right, the other thing was, um, boy, I can't even read my handwriting. Um, I don't want my glasses. Um, well, I, I, I just the reports are a big thing. Um, geez, I should have worn my glasses. Um, anyway, I also want to thank you for bringing your children here to do the Pledge of Allegiance because it's something that even though nobody else is here except us people who are concerned about the town, including the town board, that it, it gives a, a, another slant on what life is like in this town. So I thank you for that. Um, so I really don't have too much more to say other than the fact that, you know, the, it's, it's, you have a problem with water, I hope it doesn't snow. <laughs> you might have a bigger problem. Um, but they're saying it might snow this weekend, so you know, everybody kind of like keeping, if you're driving a car, be careful, because people who are coming up from the city don't know how to handle these roads up here, and they're still driving like maniacs. 
So thank you very much. Thank you, Larry. Larry, while you're up, is there a senior, I think there's a senior Christmas party coming. But it was, it was already signed up for. So it's all signed, so it's up, all up, signed up for. There is, but there is one thing I forgot. The fire department usually has Santa Claus from around. We announced it truck. in the last meet. Oh, in the truck. But and he, that they truck had cookies from Santa. That's December 18th. Yeah, well, that, he could have announced that tonight. Just a reminder. Thank you, Leonard. <laughs> Don't want to make a look bad. Okay. So, uh, anybody else? No. Okay. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. Well, thanks to everyone who came today and safe travels home. I'm going to turn the volume back up. We'll turn it on. We'll turn it on.